What is up? Been working a little bit on my car this week. We got the um, air intakes done. I elected to go with uh, stainless steel high cuts rather than the um, OEM air box. Those are pretty expensive um, to buy used. Um, and there's some benefits to, to doing pie cuts. You get about you know 10 to 12 horsepower gain, a um, little better um, throttle response um, with the K&N air, K air filter. Um, so we'll go ahead and go over that. Um, here's one side. It turned out nice, I'm pleased and happy. A lot of work, that's the very first time doing pie cuts. Um, and uh, I'm happy with how they turned out. So Reed Performance makes a set of these. They're about 1500 bucks for um, for the stainless and 3000 for the titanium. Mine are a little bit different. Um, theirs come in and turns 90. Um, they kind of follow the, the path of the, um, the OEM Flex. Um, and I, I think these are kind of ar arbitrary. They're just coming in here. You just need to get them in where they're scooping into the air box. So um, I chose to make mine a little bit more straight, um, uh, less welding, and you get the air in a little bit faster into the, uh, into the engine. These, um, these air plenums are pretty massive. I mean, these uh, air plenums are the size of a, you know, V8 valve cover. So there's plenty of air in there. Um, really well designed. So this, that's why you don't get crazy, crazy uh, performance upgrade. But 10 horsepower, 10, 12 horsepower, that's a, that's a lot. And that's at the wheels. Um, so this sound a little bit better. Um, what I'll do is I'll make an aluminum shroud, maybe box, box those in a little bit. Um, definitely want to isolate the heat from the engine bay. Uh, I don't want, I don't want to be sucking those in. Um, uh, so I'll be doing something there, whether if I make a full on air box, I kind of want to keep them open just, just for, just for the tone. Um, so they have plenty of air but uh, we'll definitely be doing something.